Hey everyone, this is the Logic Only Zone. And I bet you never thought that you would see the Logic Only Zone in HD, but you know, technology has advanced and finally there is an iPod cheap enough for me. I was able to, excuse me, an iPad. I was able to buy an iPad for uh, 250 bucks and fit in my budget for this month. So I was able to finally get myself a nice piece of technology to take nice videos. So for the first time you're seeing me in HD. And uh, yeah, so what do you think? Um, yeah, so cue that intro. mystery of not knowing and I think this is something that we should talk about because the mystery of not knowing is at the core of all human experience basically you know everything comes down to reasons and facts that people lay upon one another to build up to some sort of understanding of how things should be perceived and we base this based upon uh, all kinds of facets, but I really want to get into this, this concept in terms of the fact is, and I want to start from this assumption, that we just can't know, and the reason why we can't know is because, well, it's a mystery. And the fact is everybody has a different view of what they think life is about and what they think life is. And so this is the basic premise that I start from. And so one would ask, how can you guide your life then? And so my hero Marcus Aurelius would tell you that philosophy is the answer, that we, we, we use philosophy to guide us. And that's not a bad way to go because philosophy is basically, um, like I mentioned, the use of reason, facts, and evidence and things like this to kind of use as a mediator to figure out how one should live their life. That's not a bad way to go. And I think starting there from a premise is something that's really useful. Um, but also I think it comes down to experience. I think actual lived experience is something that's been devalued to some degree in society, something that has been uh, forgotten or put aside, not something that's been emphasized. And I think it's something that needs to be focused upon. So on that note, today I'm going to be drinking Kinoshizuku, which is some good stuff. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to be sipping on this while we're chatting. It's quite windy today. You might hear the wind uh, floating through my room here. Yes. But so here's the thing. So what I really want to get down into is we have this mystery of life. And really the only way to figure this all out is through your actual experience. Because, you know, somebody can tell you information about science or, or life or society or whatever. And, you know, they have that understanding and you don't. So you're taking people's word for things. But instead, really what you should do is you should be basing your life based on your lived experience because what good is other people's understanding of things doing you? It's not doing you any good at all. And so only your actual understandings, your lived experiences can tell you. You know, if you poke yourself with a pin and, you know, you have to make the determination of whether that is an uncomfortable thing to do or whether you want to poke yourself again. And sometimes people have to keep poking themselves with the pen until they figure out that this is not something they want to do. But really where truth is derived is from being very self-aware of the experiences that you're having and the results that these experiences are having. And really think about that process in a meaningful way. And then to modify yourself and continually improve yourself and make yourself better because, well, what is the purpose of being here if not to improve yourself and make yourself better? Because we can make our lives as good or as hellish as we want. So my basic philosophy is, 
pay very close attention to my own experiences. Now, the trouble is, we have two parts of our mind, the conscious, the stuff that we're very aware of, the, the awareness that we have, and we have the unconscious. So there are things in our life that we're unconscious. And if you look at yourself from a year or two years ago or something like this, there are things that you know now that you didn't know about yourself that existed as a part of you that you were not aware of. That's, that's the realm of the unconscious. Uh, there was pain that you were suffering that you may not have noticed. And the longer we suffer in a certain way, the more that we internalize it and just accept it as part of a rea of reality. The true magic of life is to understand that you can always change yourself and your surroundings. You can move yourself in certain ways and improve yourself and put yourself in different situations and uh, make yourself into a better person. And this is not just hyperbole. You can really do these things, but you have to pay very close attention to your experiences. And then based on that, as a true, you know, for everybody who's a logic, a legit logician out there, whoever, everybody who's scientifically minded, based on that evidence, change who you are, change the way that you're behaving. And that's how, that's how you win the game of life. <laughs> but um, yeah, a great example is fear. Fear is the biggest problem for people. And fear is eliminated by facing the things that you're afraid of. So what you have to do is you have to continue. You, so here's another thing not only do you need to pay attention to your experiences, but you can create experiences that you can pay attention to and then learn from those experiences that you set up for yourself and then modify who you are and what you do based on those experiences as well. And so fighting fear is one of those things that you can do. And uh, so if you wanna fight fear, you can set up situations that you're afraid of and face those situations. Um, really, you know, we have a fear of dying. We have all kinds of sort of fears of uh, things like this and you know often the 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 image in our mind of what something is really going to be like is never the same as what it really is um, so you know you might be at a bar and you know you're there's a beautiful girl and you're thinking about going over and talking to her and you know it's like wow from over here she's beautiful but you go up and you talk to her and you know you find out that she's very boring you know, she didn't look. She doesn't look the same up close, or something like this. So, we have a fear of how moving forward in things that changes perception in in a way. Um, you know, maybe you know. And by the way, that example could be with a man as well, a girl in a bar, and she sees some some guy who looks really tough, and she gets up to him, and he's got big crow's feet or whatever, and uh, blows eyes or however you know whatever. You know, just an example. So yeah, so that's it. Yeah, I just want to lay that on you, lay that on you, yo. And uh, yeah, we'll talk again. Thank you guys for watching. I will be doing more videos. This is just kind of like a me reintroducing myself to my channel. I understand that the only people who are watching me now at this point are my true fans, my my true friends, and um, yeah, I prefer the the word friend over fan because I mean. You know, I don't really believe that I have any fans, but uh, yeah. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm glad to be to have this and be able to make a nice video. And this is kind of what's been holding me back is I just wasn't able to really make anything nice, wasn't able to really edit anything, but I can do that all in this little tablet. So, all right, you guys, uh, we will talk again. Goodbye.